Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're making a face mask inspired by Starro from the Suicide Squad. This mask is flexible and features blue and purples to look like those creepy starfish face huggers. The hollow wing is the perfect board for this type of project. It's an easy way to get an animated eyeball with no coding skills required. The mask is 3D printed and flexible filament so it can wrap around your face. It's made from two separate pieces that are fastened together with machine screws. The flap on the back allows access to the built-in power switch so it's easy to turn on and off. All you need for this project is the hollowing, a lipo battery, and a convex lens. The mask is 3D printed in NinjaFlex. This filament features a shore hardness of 85A and it's both flexible and elastic. It's also 3D printed with some support material. These parts are stringy and need a bit of cleanup, which is easy to do with a pair of flush snips. To color the parts, you can airbrush both sides, starting with some shades of purple. Airbrushing NinjaFlex is a bit better than acrylic paints because it won't crack when flexing. Then you can add some blues and blend them together to make some gradients. The lens is added to the center hole cutout and is held in place with the lip along the edge. The hollow wing board is placed on top with the mounting holes lined up. Machine screws can then be fastened to the built-in standoffs for a nice and secure fit. The back side can then be added with the flap lined up with a built-in switch. Machine screws are added to each of the mounting tabs with the two sides held together. You can paint over the screws with acrylic paints so they blend in with the rest of the mask. The tips of the mask are held in place overnight so it can retain that curved shape. You can add an extension cable for a bigger battery and hide it in your pocket so it's not directly over your face. You can add a strap or a piece of NinjaFlex to act as a string to keep the mask fitted over your face. We hope this inspires you to try out some NinjaFlex and check out the Adafruit Hollowing for your next project. Thanks for watching and be sure you're subscribed for more DIY projects from Adafruit.